All right. Uh, we have a very important video ahead of us today. Uh, and that is a uh, food tier list maker, in fact. Um, yes, this is, in fact, very important. And I thought it was as good as time as any to do this. Now, I'll be honest, just looking through this, I do not really understand what a lot of this is. But we'll go over the obvious ones first. Like, even the first one here, like, is this uh, representing cake? Because I'll be honest, if it is, that's going right to the F tier. I don't understand why people love cake. I'm assuming it's not the actual good types of cake, like cheesecake and ice cream cake. Uh, maybe even a tiramisu cake. I'm just going to assume this is like a normal cake, which is fucking awful. It's unhealthy, and I'm fine with unhealthy shit, but if it's unhealthy, it better be good. And it's not even good. It hurts your teeth. There's no substance to it. It's not even that tasty. Cake is fucking F tier, and I don't understand why people like it. I, I don't even know what the hell this is. Could we, can we zoom in on these pictures or something? Uh, what in God's name is this? Is this supposed to represent, like... Ethiopian food? No, no, there's no sponge bread or whatever. Uh, okay, I don't know what this is, so we're just going to skip that. Uh, is this like some sort of baked... You know what? That's that I can't tell either. What are the difference here? Is this fried chicken and like roast chicken? Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to say that this is fried chicken. That's going right to at least B tier. I mean, how how can you not like fried chicken? Especially from an actual good fried chicken place. We should also say, you know, we're, we're, we're taking everything into account here. Like the bottom, the middle, the top of each of these, like, variants of food. But in here, we're, we're going to say, you know, we're, we're sticking to, like, regular cake. We're not saying this is cheesecake, uh, ice cream cake, you know, the actual good cakes. But fried chicken, you know, we're going to say, we're going to lump in like shitty stuff like KFC or real good stuff like Azelle's chicken. You know, shout out to Azelle's. All on average, I'm going to say B tier. It's just really good. It's not healthy, but at least, you know, unlike cake, which is also unhealthy, it's actually worth the, the, the hit to your health that you take for eating this. I mean, the skin alone is just, mm, to die for. But, I'll be honest, I have I have things I know that really outclass it, that really need to go in the S and A tier. I, I don't know that this is necessarily in the S and A tier. We'll go B, we'll go like top of B tier for now. Um, so is this just like a roast chicken? We'll say that. I don't think it's nearly as good as fried chicken. Um, I'm thinking, like, it's definitely better than cake. Is it D or is it E tier? It's significantly more healthy than fried chicken, depending on what you do. But is it really that good? Not really. I'm going to leave it in D tier for now. Dumplings. I'm going to ruffle some feathers here, but I think they're kind of overrated. They're good, don't get me wrong. It's probably better than roast chicken. But I've had, you know, I've had what are supposed to be pretty good dumplings, and they're kind of just so-so to me. I, I feel like the ceiling just isn't there with these things. They're never going to be horrible, just like chicken. It's very similar to roast chicken. It's like, it's never going to blow your mind, in my opinion. And, hey, I, I, I live in the greater Seattle area. I, I know... There's plenty of good dumplings places here. I've been to all of them, trust me. I have been to China. I've seen all the good dumplings there. They're really not that good. What is this? Can I, do I have to zoom in like even further here? Chicken with what the fuck is under that? Breaded, breaded chicken... I have no idea. Ikea. Oh my god, okay. Uh, Ikea meatballs are fucking worse than cake. What the fuck is wrong with people? 
Ikea also is fucking awful. If there was like a tier of just places to go, F tier for Ikea as well. How the hell does anyone enjoy going to that fucking nightmare and dealing with that shit that just falls apart within a month? Their meatballs are horrible. They're the worst meatballs known to man and woman and everything in between. They they are the worst, and I don't understand how people could ever like an IKEA meatball. That shit is fucking horrible. Burgers and are, are we saying though that it's just meatballs? I, I assume if they're saying IKEA, it has to be IKEA meatballs, right? Like we're not saying this is just meatballs in general, because you know if it's meatballs in general, I'd probably put that around dumplings, maybe even above it. But I I see this IKEA here, and I have to imagine that they're saying IKEA specifically meatballs. If it's Ikea meatballs, that shit sucks. And you're tripping if you think it's good. Hamburgers, I feel, are the most C tier that you could get here. They're not bad. They're not mind-blowing. They're just solid. I would definitely generally think a hamburger is better than a dumpling or roast chicken. Definitely not as good as fried chicken. And it is towering over cake and Ikea meatballs for sure. You know, there's, there's, it's hard to have a really bad har- hamburger, but it's also really hard to really blow your ex- your mind with a hamburger. I can blow my mind with some fried chicken, but I cannot blow my mind with a hamburger. I can get a pretty good hamburger. That's that's like the, you know, the, the range. It, it's got a good floor. It's got a so-so ceiling. C tier seems fine for a hamburger. Now, hard-boiled eggs. I'm sorry, but it's healthy, kinda, but. The taste is just shit. You can smother it in salt, but you can smother anything in salt and it will taste amazing. I can smother an IKEA meatball and I could smother cake in salt and it would feel it would taste amazing, but are we gonna just say if you put salt if it typically has salt all over it, does it affect it? I'm gonna say we're eating it raw, right? We're eating this hard boiled egg raw. That shit sucks. I don't know what people are thinking when they eat that shit raw. It's like eating a fart. It smells like one, too, when you open it. But it is like eating a fart. I don't know how people like hard-boiled eggs. I'll eat them. Like, if I'm on a health binge, I'll just eat the fuck out of them and not care. It's better than cake. It's better than Ikea meatballs. Certainly not F-tier, but... I mean, this is not a desirable food. Let's put it that way. There's no enjoyment to be had there. I can enjoy a dumpling. I can enjoy some roast chicken. I cannot enjoy a hard-boiled egg. I can enjoy salt. Who doesn't like salt? These look like Swedish pancakes or crepes. I'm going to go with that. And those are at least as good as a hamburger. Now, they're not part of a balanced breakfast. They're trying to put like berries in, make it seem like it's like a fucking breakfast food. I'm sure we'll get the pancakes eventually here. I got some shit to say about that, but... It, You know, spoiler alert, these are better than pancakes. Way better. Um, But still, there's not necessarily a whole lot of flavor going on here. And it's not really healthy. It's not like if you're eating pancakes and Swedish pancakes for breakfast uh, for several years straight, you're probably going to have to see a doctor. I mean, you probably have to see a doctor with most, most of this stuff, let's be honest, if you're eating it every day. But... Probably not roast chicken. I feel like roast chicken you could probably eat every day. Maybe a hard-boiled egg, too. Cholesterol could be an issue, though. Um, Swedish pancakes are good. They are. But they're not great. I can't eat that every day. I will get bored of it fast. But once in a while, once in a blue moon, it's a nice treat. Uh, What is this just like? What is this? Chinese takeout or something? I see chopsticks. I really can't, I mean, is that bok, that's not bok choy. I'm going to just imagine that this is Chinese takeout, and since it's boxed like that, we're going to say that it's like the Americanized version. So Americanized Chinese, not like any, not like authentic or like American quote unquote authentic, straight up just Americanized Chinese, we'll call this. I'll be honest, it's not bad. It's never going to blow your mind. Can't go above C. Certainly can't get into the fried chicken tier. But 
it's pretty satisfying, honestly. I really don't know how you can shit on it. Like, is it really that much worse than the authentic thing? Probably for some people, yes. For me, it has its benefits. I put it, you know, technically, dumpling would be like authentic Chinese in its own way, but... I would rather have some shitty Americanized Chinese food than some dump, some good like good high end dumplings. I think it deserves a tier above D tier. It's similar to hamburger, maybe even better. It's probably better than a Swedish pancake or a crepe or whatever that is. Yeah, yeah, let's fucking go with that. I think it's maybe worse than a hamburger though. Probably. Spaghetti and meatballs. It's about as C-tier as you can get. Um, it, it really can't blow your mind that much. Certainly not like a fried chicken can. But even a bad spaghetti isn't horrible. Um, you know, it can be sitting out for a while, get cold, uh, I'll still eat that shit. Like, it's a pretty staple thing that you can just eat. Very similar to a hamburger very similar to Chinese takeout, I would say. But probably on a higher level because you can get... Maybe the ceiling is a little higher than those two. You know, you can get some pretty decent spaghetti. You can't get, like, mind-blowing spaghetti, though. You get some pretty good spaghetti, though. And it's pretty easy to make. Like, hamburger and spaghetti are both pretty easy to make if we're, if we're talking about, like, making it yourself and stuff. Like, it is not easy to make your own dumplings, that's for sure. It's easier to make your own hard-boiled eggs. It's easy to make your own roast chicken. It's not easy to make a cake. Um, anyway, I think I think top of C tier makes sense. I think it's better than a hamburger and better than blah, 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 right? Pretzels. Hmm. I, I really like pretzels. Again, though, they're not going to blow your mind. It can't get above C tier. B tier and above has the potential to blow your mind, let's say. A and S tier consistently blow your mind. B, you're often let down but still have the chance to blow your mind. Let's be honest, I've been pretty let down by a lot of fried chicken in my life. But it can it can be as good as any food can be. I think a pretzel's probably typically better than a Swedish pancake. I mean, there's not much to a pretzel. You can't really fuck it up. You can make it really good, though. You can fuck up a Swedish pancake, let's be honest. I've done it. I've done it many times. You can't really fuck up a pretzel. Well, technically you could. Uh, I think there's a way that you could actually poison yourself, I heard, by making a pretzel wrong. So maybe that puts a a little bit below Swedish pancake because poisoning yourself and dying, it might push it past it, right? I think on in general, I'd prefer a pretzel to a crepe, but not enough that it outweighs the poisonous downside. So we'll leave it there for now. I don't think it's D tier. I do generally prefer a pretzel to a dumpling. Okay, how do we... So... Fish and chips. This is so ambiguous because there's a wide range. Well, you know what? So I see a British flag in the background. I also see, yeah, there's like the pure, the pea puree right here. They don't do that shit in America. So American fish and chips would probably be like a round burger and Chinese takeout. But fucking, like, United Kingdom or even, like, Irish fish and chips, that's fucking S tier. I don't know if you've ever had the pleasure of having that shit, but... Oh my god, it's, it's like, mind-blowingly good. It, it surprises me nobody, nobody in the States does it like this. It's so flaky. It's so just... Um, it, it is consistently mind-blowing. Like, if you ever make a UK trip or even an Ireland trip, any anywhere over there, definitely look up what the good places to get a good fish and chips are. And it will, you will just be disappointed uh, back in the States, everywhere you go, because you know what it could be. 
this towers over everything we've done so far, hands down. You might even have to make a new tier for this. It'll be hard to beat this one. I mean, they, they sold me with the British flag and the P puree there. They're, they're specifically talking about non-American fish and chips, the real fish and chips, you know. That's fucking S tier. Um, bread. <laughs> fucking bread, okay. Well, I'll be honest. I've had quote-unquote good bread from, like, Europe and shit. I think it's pretty fucking overrated. I'll admit the American bread fucking sucks in comparison, but it's like not that massive of a difference. Like fight me about it, but seriously, it's not that massive of a difference. Here's the thing though. It's bland. It's boring. It's bread, but it would be wrong of me to put it below D tier because this shit has gotten a bad rap. You know, bread, like, like we got all this gluten-free shit. We got this fucking, uh, we got this fucking paleo diet, diets and shit. People saying bread is bad for you. Maybe it is, maybe it is. But here, if it's really that bad for you, it fucking sustained the human fucking, like, humanity for multiple millennia. There is entire societies that would not have survived if not for bread. Bread literally fucking fed thousands upon thousands of years of people. So it can't, out of respect for what it has done for us, I can't, I can't put it down below D. And I'll be honest, I really don't like bread. I don't. It should be about E tier, but, you know, eggs or whatever, they've been a staple of a lot of diets, but they haven't, they haven't like made humanity fucking survive the way bread has. So bread, you're going to get the top of D tier, even though you probably should be E tier. Oh my god, cheese. That is cheese, right? It looks like it. I'm going to ignore that there's like berries or whatever in the background. We're just going to say that this is like good cheese. Um, hmm. It's certainly above C. We know that. I feel like cheese is one of those things that truly can blow your mind. There's a few things like, I mean, wine and cheese, there's such a ceiling there. I mean, people pay thousands of dollars for a good wine and cheese. It's, it's very fucking good. I assume we're talking about like decent cheese here, not just fucking craft singles, right? Um... Huh. You know what? I think A tier is good. It's not really a meal like the rest of these are. Or a staple of any sort. It's more of a fucking piece. It's like an accompanying piece to a lot of stuff. Like, it's really good, but like, can I just sit down and eat a block of cheese? I mean, I could. I wouldn't recommend it. It could really, really do some stuff to your stomach. It has done stuff to my stomach before. So I think that limits it from S tier, because there is a downside that it can really fuck you up. I don't think fish and chips could really fuck me up the way cheese could. Uh, also, like, it could be bad if you're going on a date. Uh, it could make your breath pretty bad. So there are downsides to cheese, but in general, there's a ceiling that's just through the roof. What is this? Is that like chunky soup? Chunk chunky Campbell's soup? No. Is that like kima? Kima? Like the Pakistani food? I can't really tell what this is from the picture, so I'm going to skip it. But, oh, I got some thoughts on this one. Fucking pancakes. You've been skating by all all the fucking time. People thinking that you're good. You're not. You're fucking E tier. You're below a hard boiled egg. You're still a cake, but you're better than cake. You're a pancake. But don't think that you taste good. You don't. Hey, 
I like eating sh- like liquid sugar as much as the next person, but you can't just say it's good because you can drench it in syrup. I can drench any of this shit in syrup. You see an elf, you can drench fucking spaghetti in syrup. Are you going to make that, like, change it uh, at all? Like, y- you have to judge it by what it is. And what it is is, like, it's not that healthy. It, and, and that's fine. Like, I'm fine if it's not that healthy. But if it's not that healthy, it better taste good. And, and I, don't, I don't really see it. Like, what, what do people see in pancakes? They make you feel like shit. They make you feel like you need to fucking puke when you've eaten too much. Not even too much, just a normal serving. You go to a diner, you go to fucking IHOP, any of these places, you order a, uh, order a normal fucking serving of pancakes, and if you don't want to waste food, you will be fucking dying at the end of it, uh, guaranteed. You will want to puke, you will want to die. You'll feel like you're dying. So really, I, I just think that you you generally don't feel good after you've eaten pancakes. You don't feel like, oh man, that was satisfying. I usually feel like legit I, I don't feel good and that was a mistake. So pancakes, I, I have strong feelings. They're at the bottom of E tier right now. Not F tier. I mean, they're not like as bad as cake and, and a, a Swedish meatball from Ikea. But they're not great. Speaking of also overrated, uh, chocolate. I'm assuming this is just like chocolate straight up. Chocolate bars. The worst candy ever. You could have fruit snacks. You could have gushers, gummy worms, dots, anything. But chocolate? It's so just underwhelming compared to anything. The bright flavors of of fruit snacks or sours, like sour, sweet, you name it. All of that beats chocolate. It's okay. It doesn't it doesn't necessarily suck. Maybe it should be D tier. It's better than a hard boiled egg. It it's definitely better than a hard boiled egg. And uh you know, it's not healthy. I don't see any dark chocolate here, but we'll we'll lump dark chocolate in which is supposedly healthy. I don't buy it, but supposedly it's healthy compared to like milk chocolate and all the rest. Uh I would probably rather have a roast chicken though than chocolate. And again, we're talking just eating chocolate, right? Not just chocolate flavor on things, like a chocolate pretzel or something. Now that, that, you put, I will say this, you add chocolate to some of these things and they go up. Like a chocolate pretzel is at least B tier. That shit's good. But chocolate bars, get out of here. D tier, bottom of D tier. Is this just like a like a plate of cured meat because if it is that shit is borderline F tier because of how much it fucking costs seriously you, you, these fucking restaurants try to resell buying cured meats from some vendor they hike up the price like 10 times 10x It doesn't taste that good, but you pay fucking 30 bucks and you get like half a fucking pepperoni slice on a plate. You're supposed to like pretend that that's good. Yeah, just for that alone, that goes to F tier. Still better than cake. Because it's pepperoni and pepperoni is good. Salami is good. Whatever this other shit is good. Uh, Starts with a P, I'm sure. It usually starts with a P, I've found. Um... Maybe it's E tier. Technically, it's okay. It just costs so much. Not healthy either. Definitely not healthy. These preserved fucking cured meats are not good for you. They will give you cancer. Is it worth the cancer? I doubt it. It's definitely not worth cancer. But, you know, it's still better than cake. And Ikea meatballs. So we'll keep it an E. What the hell is this? I have no idea, so we'll skip it, because I definitely know what the next thing is. Onions, right? I mean, they got long necks. Maybe they're not onions, but we're going to pretend that they're onions. 
Well, let, let, let's talk about onions for a bit. I assume we're just talking about onions, the, the vegetable or whatever it is. Not like onions in dishes as like a garnish or just component of dishes. Because if it was that, I got to tell you, people overuse the fuck out of onions. Especially like making them caramelized or mushy. Stop doing that. Too many fucking restaurants just pile these goddamn onions. And and it's like, dude, I don't want to eat all these onions. So I just waste them. But I'll tell you what. Onions as just a, a raw, pretty healthy, tasty, like surprisingly tasty. Just bite into it like an apple. Trust me on this. You will be mind blown at how good it is. I mean, make sure it's a good onion. Don't do it to a shitty onion. But I think it's at least C tier. Granted, I've you know I've done some some gardening, so I know how fresh fucking onion tastes, but. So that probably skews my my results here. I'm almost inclined to put it in the B tier. The ceiling is just so much higher than the likes of like a hamburger or a spaghetti or an Americanized Chinese takeout. There is some real flavor to be had here. Really just has you feeling good when you take a nice bite of a good onion. We're going to leave it at bottom of B tier for now. Nachos. Another honestly overrated food. Uh, not as overrated as pancakes. Like, they're pretty good. But they don't... There's there's no nachos in the world that will blow my, my, my mind, personally. It's probably in the realm of a pretzel. It's probably better than a pretzel. It is... similar to a Swedish pancake slash crepe. Probably better. But it does not, it's not deserving of like the craziness that people go for nachos. It's just chips and whatever the fuck you put on top of it, okay? Don't, don't make it out to be something that it's not. It's just, it's chips and shit on it, yeah. Which is good, don't get me wrong, but you know, it, it, it can't really, it can't just reach the heights of some of these really high tier foods and and there are a lot of bad nachos and it does not reheat well if you can't finish it which often you can't because they always overserve the fuck out of nachos at any restaurant you will not reheat that shit if you do you will pay for it because it may kill you it's that bad it's so it's one of the worst reheated foods known to man in the history of man Never put that in a microwave. Never. Don't ever do that. That is sacrilegious. What the fuck is this? I don't even know what that is. It doesn't even look good. This has got to be just fried rice, though. This is like, you know, your typical run-of-the-mill run fried rice. And that shit's good. It's definitely better than spaghetti. Is it better than an onion? Or is it in the same tier as an onion and fried chicken? Debatable? I'm trying to think the best fried rice I've ever had. Probably some crab fried rice. And that's a significant step up from burgers and spaghetti. It's better than an onion too, but is it better than fried chicken? I highly doubt that. Yeah. I think fri fried rice and fried chicken, I mean, they're fried. Fried is good. It's not good for you, but it's good. It's worth It's worth the health downside to eat fried food, I feel. Uh, the, the, the joy to, to health ratio is skewed properly, unlike fucking pancakes and cake. And Ikea meatballs. This is worth fucking your help up, health up for. It's good. And, uh, yeah, it's just solid. I mean, there's so many things you can do with fried rice. You, know, you, can, you can do the classic chicken, shrimp, or pork, or beef. 
You can do, like I said, crab. You can do Chinese sausage. That's a pretty good one, too. Chinese sausage is definitely B tier as well. I think like chicken, shrimp, beef, probably C tier, but crab and Chinese sausage, B tier for sure. And they're so good. They're, they're, they're so good that they're, they're going to just overall gravitate it toward the B tier and let it rest there. Uh, I'm going to assume this is an omelet, which is a vastly superior way to eat an egg versus hard boiling it. Definitely better than nachos. Um, is it better than Chinese takeout? Sort of the Americanized style? I think so. Is it? I mean, an omelet's not going to blow your mind. An omelet isn't. But it'll never suck. I can have, you know, nachos and Chinese takeout that sucks. So I think omelet... Omelet is better. And, you know, it's pretty easy to make, too. Not that that should really skew it at all, but it's worth noting. The important thing here, though, is it's so much better than hard-boiling it. I mean, it's not even comparable. Hard boiling is if you're just going for health. The health is there. But if you're going for taste, no comparison. Like I said, it's there. when you eat an omelet, you do not feel like you're eating a fart, and you don't smell a fart when you eat it. Hard boiled egg, you do, to both of them, to both of those points. Ooh, fries. Fries are good. The fries at least are better than the burger. I'm always more excited for the fries than a burger if I'm doing some burger and fry type shit. Can they blow your mind, though? I don't know about that. They're probably better than spaghetti. But my best fry I've ever had is probably not better than the best onion I've ever had. To a significant enough level that I think it stays in C tier. It's very similar. It's not vastly superior to a hamburger. They go well together. Um, they're good. They can be bad. I mean, you can have like styrofoam fries. That's not good. But uh, it's pretty good. Ooh, steak. It's going to be controversial, but I feel like steak is A tier instead of S tier. Uh, I really like steak. It's a staple of my diets. At least when I'm doing well financially, fluctuates. It does fluctuate, but uh, it 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 just isn't as consistently mind blowing as fucking British or Irish or UK fish and chips. It's similar to cheese, I think. It can be bad. Like you can have a bad steak. They can fuck it up. But a good steak will be very, very good. It's also expensive, much like cheese is, whereas the fish and chips really aren't that expensive. You gotta factor that in too. I mean, steaks cost a lot of money, especially the specific cuts. I mean, uh, this looks like, uh, I don't know, maybe a sirloin or a, I don't know what that is. Probably not a sirloin, it's a little too, not thick enough maybe, but Whatever it is, it doesn't look super expensive, but you know, there's like filet mignon that's pretty expensive. I, I guess in New York it can get pretty expensive. There's a vast array of steak that you can get. Very good. Probably better than cheese. Probably better than cheese. Top of A tier, but still not quite the consistency I feel. Like you can, it's it's very easy to fuck a steak up, even at a steakhouse. But I usually cook them myself. I actually, I'm not that good of a cook, but I can cook steak pretty well. Pretty rare, I should say. But uh, I can I can cook it. I feel pretty well. Even then, I still fuck it up though. And a fucked up steak isn't that good. I I say UK fish and chips still reign supreme here. What in God's name is this? I can't tell. It looks like some sort of a ball with shit on top of it. It's like the picture is just too small. So this is like gyoza and pot stickers. 
I know I'm going to I'm going to get some hate for this one. It's a bit overrated. It's good, but it's not great. Feels very D tier to me. I'd say it's similar to like roast chicken and dumplings. It's the flavor. There's only so much flavor there. Um, it's not necessarily that healthy. It can't really be bad. It's got that going for it. You know, dip it in some soy sauce. But again, I can dip anything in soy sauce. It itself, is it really that amazing? I don't think it is. Like, you could have different stuff in it too. Usually it's pork, but uh, I don't know. It's similar to dumpling for me. I'd probably rather have a dumpling than a gyoza or a pot sticker, whatever this is here. Uh, it's okay though. I, I feel like D tier isn't bad. Like I'm so if I'm looking at these tiers, D tier is still desirable. Like I'd be okay, like just being like, okay, I'm gonna go eat some good bread. I'm gonna eat some good dumplings. I'm going to eat some good gyoza pot stickers. I'm going to eat some good chicken. I'm going to eat some nice chocolate. I can get excited for D tier, whereas E tier, I'm like, okay, I guess I'll eat it. But I'm never excited about hard-boiled eggs. I'm never excited about pancakes. I'm never excited to pay $100 to get half a plate of fucking pepperoni. Um, and I'm certainly not excited to get cake. What the fuck is wrong with people? How do you like cake? I hate birthdays because cake exists. Um, and we're not even going to go there with the Ikea meatballs. People, that is like mind control that people actually think that shit is good. I mean, my God. What is this? Is this the flying fucking spaghetti monster here? Like, seriously, what the hell is this? That doesn't look right. I can't zoom in anymore. Oh, wait, here we go. Wrong key. Uh, that looks like weird. Doesn't it look like that's like a mouth right there? And it's just like, this is like some beast. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck this is, but that's not getting in the list. That's, that's never meant to be eaten, whatever that is. I have no idea. Oh, avocado. All right, I'm, I'd hate to sound like a, like a posh white chick here, but I think avocados are pretty good. They're, they're pretty good. The health to taste ratio is there. Probably better than an onion. There's a ceiling that's pretty good, but it's not like... Not as high as like a cheese, for sure. But it's... I don't know. I feel like it's such a safe, almost always enjoy, enjoyable experience to just eat an avocado. While we're at it, I don't think I see it anywhere... Guac is fucking horrible. Why do people bastardize avocados by putting it with a bunch of tomatoes and shit? Guac is just a strict downgrade from just having an avocado. If you want to make a dip just like that, just mash up a fucking avocado and have it be amazing. Fresh, like fresh tasting, fresh feeling. Healthier too. Guac sucks. Avocados are great. Yeah, I went there. It's even better than fried rice. Not better than fried chicken. No way. But it's better than fried rice. Fried rice still leaves you kind of feeling sick afterward. But eat an avocado. You feel great. You're like, shit, I'm going to like become healthy. You won't, but you will. You'll think it. Um, pineapple also. A little underrated, I feel. There's, there's the whole... I don't know why it became a thing to, like, say pineapple doesn't go on pizza. Uh, spoiler alert, it does definitely go on pizza. It definitely goes on a lot of things. It is a very good fruit. Ton of flavor. Unique flavor. It's an amazing flavor. At least, it's probably better than avocado, but there is the health factor. I don't think it's quite nearly as healthy as an avocado. I mean, I'm no expert. Don't take me from my word there, but it's just my feeling that I have. It's a feeling, you know. Uh, it's not science. 
but it's something. And maybe I even like avocados better. Maybe I even just like eating an avocado better than eating a pineapple. I mean, there is a certain point where you're eating too much. Like if you just cut up on a pineapple and start eating it, there does come a certain point where like, am I doing damage to myself? Like literally it feels like acid is starting to eat your mouth alive. Has anyone ever eaten that much pineapple? Cause I have, I've done it a lot and I start to wonder, I have to like, I usually have to Google if it's actually like, can I like overdose on pineapple? And I always forget what the answer is. So I think it does maybe some sort of light brain damage because I can never remember what the answer is to that. But I can at least remember that it does feel fucked up when you eat too much pineapple. And so that, that limits it a little bit. Maybe it should be lower than fried, fried rice then. But it's still way better than an onion. I mean, I don't get me wrong. I love biting into a good onion, but just not nearly as much flavor in an onion as a pineapple. Pineapple can really... It like makes your ears sing from how how like poignant it is when you bite into it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I think you know what I mean. Sausage, eh? I like sausage. I think it's it's pretty good. Um obviously there's a wide range of sausages. But uh it's probably better than fried rice. I don't know that it's better than an avocado. It's definitely not healthy. Let's just get that one out of the way. So it's similar to fried rice in that regard. But it's similar to fried rice in the regard that it's just solid. And always, really, never bad. I assume we're not talking about hot dogs here. We're just talking about like legit sausage, right? Like German... Polish type sausages, Hungarian maybe. Um, it's it's pretty close to fried rice. It's very hard to pick one over the other here. I think that the best sausages I have edge out the best fried rices I've had, so we'll we'll leave it above. Oh crab, here we go, boom S tier. Crab is the fucking shit. True, there's a lot of different types of crabs, but they're all good, and some of them are mind-blowing. Would I even do this? Maybe. There is one problem. To, to really eat crab the right way, you have to kind of eat it out of the fucking shell. You know, break it open. That's a lot of effort. Maybe that Maybe that brings it down. Cause there's a lot of effort involved there at the very least you have to get the legs and pop that shit open you know just pre pre like stripped out crab is not going to be the top tier crab you have to have it fresh and crack that shit open and put fucking butter on it now i know i know butter butter you know it's we, we can't factor butter in but i'm just saying that's how you eat it okay it's fucking good. I can eat it without butter. I can eat it without butter, and it's amazing. It's it's so fucking good. Definitely better than steak. It's on a different level, but I don't know, man. The, 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 the UK fish and chips is, is probably still above crab. Even, with the, even if I don't factor the effort factor in, it's probably still better. It's mind-blowing. Is this shrimp? It looks like shrimp. Shrimp, on the other hand, I I, I feel like it's over. It's tough because because how do you rate this? Do you rate it as raw shrimp or cooked shrimp? Right. I actually really like raw shrimp, or you know the whatever you, whatever the raw type the cocktail shrimp. Like I like cocktail shrimp, but I do not like cooked shrimp. I hate it. It's like, it's always expensive and it's never worth it. It's like, you'll go to a fucking like Brazilian barbecue and the shrimp appetizer costs more than the fucking entree. And the entree is like amazing, you know, some sort of Brazilian steak or whatnot. And then the fucking, uh, shrimp that costs more is just fucking so bland and mediocre. 
like the cooked shrimp. It's very in. It's almost in the realm of the cured meat, but the cured meat costs way more in comparison to what you get. And I mean, at least it's still pretty good. It's probably around roast chicken, I would say, or gyoza. Like the, we'll say it's the cooked version here. I'm just gonna assume it's cooked. Cocktail shrimp would probably, for the record, though, be around fries. I would say. Probably, probably right between fries and and spaghetti, but we'll just we'll mark it down as the fry the cooked version. We'll say fried or grilled. We'll say it's grilled shrimp because you could obviously boil it and whatnot. But we'll say it's grilled shrimp, and I don't think that shit's that good. I really don't. Um, what is this? Is that oysters? No. It's like it's like mussels. I'm not going to do that one, I think. Um, I feel like that's just... It's not like that... I don't know. It, it's okay. Mussels? Like, is that that staple of a thing to, to really put into this list? Salmon, on the other hand. This is, this is clearly salmon. I'm going to assume it's not raw salmon. And it's like the cooked variant. Pretty healthy. Very, very... Actually, probably the healthiest item on this list so far. But really not that great. Um, it can be. You can cook. You can cook a high-end salmon. So the ceiling is there, but I feel like on average it's pretty weak tasting. Smoked salmon's pretty good, but I think we're just going with just general cooked salmon, like a salmon fillet. It's probably better than nachos. It's maybe not better than Chinese, Americanized Chinese takeout. It, it's pretty okay, right? It's healthy. So you don't feel bad that you ate it. You feel bad that you spent $20 on it, though, minimum. Sometimes much more. That's another thing to factor in. Like, you have to, for some reason, salmon costs a lot, even though it's fucking massively abundant. I don't know how that supply-demand thing worked out, but it costs a lot, especially if you order at a restaurant. For something that generally doesn't taste that good, but it tastes okay. It's never horrible, and again, it's healthy. So we'll, we'll leave it where that's at. Well, that looks like a roast chicken to me. So kind of redundant with what I already said. Maybe this was not supposed to be roast chicken, I'm just going to say that that's roast chicken and not do this twice. Is that... That looks like squid. I'm going to assume we're just talking fried calamari, even though it's like a raw squid here. I, I hope we're not eating raw squid. I think calamari is... You know what, though? Is it really that different than an onion ring? Let's just say onion rings are similar to fries, but they're a little bit better. They're not as good as a just straight-up onion, though. Like I said, cooked onions are not as good as raw onions. A lot of vegetables do not need to be cooked. They're fucking way worse cooked. Carrots, looking at you, too. A fucking good carrot, raw, is a million times better than some mushy fucking boiled carrot. We, we should start flying through these and just get the big ones out of the way. So, like, I don't know what the fuck these are, but this is clearly donuts. I think donuts are overrated. They're very unhealthy. And they don't taste that good compared to what the health... It's definitely better than cake. I mean, it's it's way better than cake. It's definitely better than pancakes. It's probably similar to chocolate. A little bit better than chocolate. Because there are some really good donuts. Don't get me wrong. But, I don't know. I feel like... If I want something unhealthy, give me something like fried chicken... I don't know if they have, like, American or Southern barbecue on here, but if they don't, they should. Like, I don't see, like, barbecue ribs on here, which is a fucking travesty. I'm going to just, like, on one of these that I don't know, I'm going to take it over and say that it's barbecue ribs, and we're going to rate that for sure. It's definitely getting in there. But uh, we'll get through these first. Um, where was I? Onion rings? Oh, no, no, no. Donuts. Uh, donuts, they're good. They're not great. They're overpriced. They are generally not like like 
You know, I find, you know, oddly enough, the only place that seems that different from uh, all the other donut places is Krispy Kreme, which is obviously a massive chain that everybody supposedly hates. I think Krispy Kreme is better than your average donut place. Yeah, I said it. I mean, their glazed donuts are better than all the glazed donuts I ever have at any other supposedly higher rated donut place. Every single... Like, I've been to all these supposedly really good donut places. They're all indistinguishable from another. But Krispy Kreme's actually different. Like, I would actually say Krispy Kreme is, like, top of C tier for me. But we're just going to... These are clearly not Krispy Kreme donuts. They're, like, your normal, supposedly highly rated bakery donuts. And they're really not that fucking good. They're, like, a similar to chocolate. People go crazy for them, and they shouldn't be. Uh, let's see. I don't know what that is. We've already done bread. Garlic bread doesn't lo- doesn't magically get to hit, get its own fucking consideration. Cherry pie or just pie in general, better than cake for sure. The fact that pie is generally overlooked compared to cake is wrong. I still don't think pie is amazing. Better than a donut. I think it, it very similar to chocolate. I think Swedish uh, pancakes and crepes still have an advantage over these three sort of dessert type things. But they're all similar. I think I still rather have a roast chicken than a pie. Similar though, they're both like kind of Thanksgiving ish type foods that are good, but not great. I guess pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie is different. So we'll say this is really just cherry pie, I guess. Pumpkin pie is significantly better than all the other pies. Uh, pumpkin pie has that unique flavor. It feels just really nice to eat. Good texture. It's not like a mess. Like like these other pies, like you, you get a slice and it just fucking falls the fuck apart. Like, you know it. You know this cherry pie is so much of a fucking hassle to eat, right? You, you take your fork into it and it just fucking breaks in half. It breaks in. It basically turns into a cobbler. It always does. You won't get that with a with a pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie won't do that shit. Definitely better than a crepe. Better than nachos. Better than salmon. Similar. It's mildly probably better than than Americanized Chinese takeout. Put some whipped cream on that. I th- I think you could factor in whipped cream. It really should go with. Uh, pumpkin pie if you're eating it without whipped cream probably probably bottom of c tier but i'm gonna say i'm gonna make an exception to the rule here uh you know we're trying not to factor in like salt on eggs or syrup on pancakes or butter on crabs i'm gonna say whipped cream should go with the pumpkin pie i feel like that's a staple and to not put it on it is one of the dumbest things you could ever do how could you not put whipped cream on on a pumpkin pie? There should, in fact, whoever made this tier list, the fact you don't have a picture with whipped cream on the pumpkin pie, is already kind of fucked up. But I'll I'll give you a pass because this is a pretty good list. Um, looks like this is just another cake. We already know our thoughts on cake. I'll tell you what though, I, it's clearly not an ice cream cake. But I'm gonna just tell you right now, ice cream cake is fucking very close to fried chicken. We're going to say that this is ice cream cake. That shit is good. Really good. Similar to to uh fried chicken though. Very unhealthy. Very unhealthy and um doesn't necessarily have you feeling great about yourself after you've eaten it, but but you still think it was worth it cuz it was fucking good. What the hell is this just like generic soup? That is the nastiest looking soup if that's just supposed to be like soup or porridge or something. I'm not even going to rate that. This looks like more cheese. Like you already put cheese on, dude. That's just more cheese. Oh, cheesecake. Okay. Boom. S tier. Better than crab. Is it better than crab? Probably not better than crab, but it's fucking S tier. Cheesecake. Is everything a cake wishes it was? but isn't I mean I love when people try to pretend that they don't like cheesecake it it makes me laugh like it, it's so obvious that you're lying 
you clearly love it. Nobody doesn't. It's the best fucking dessert in the world, and there's not even anything that touches it. It's everything you could want from a dessert. It's savory. It's sweet. It's succulent. It has sometimes a certain amount of salt. It, there's, I mean, there's so much you can do with it. It's so fucking good. It feels so satisfying to eat. Cheesecake is the perfect dessert. I legitimately think there's something wrong with you if you don't like cheesecake. Just the normal type. If you don't like some of the fucked up cheesecakes, like Snickers cheesecake or something like that, I'll give that one to you. But a standard run-of-the-mill cheesecake that is done well, if you don't like that, I, I actually think you need help. Like, seek help. Um, apple? It's okay. Um, overrated for both its health aspects and its taste, but not bad. I do like the essence of apple, but we're just rating an apple right now. Like the, the, like I like the essence of tomatoes and apples more than I like the actual fruit. But I do think it's still okay just to eat an apple. Definitely not going to get into the C tier, though. It's, it's similar to bread, I would say. It's just kind of a staple thing that you can eat throughout the day. But it's not going to blow your mind. I don't even know if it's necessarily better than a... A good dumpling. Probably better than a good gyoza, though. Okay, we've got two types of chips here. I guess we'll differentiate them. Um, potato chips are are definitely C tier. I just don't know where they fall. They're definitely not as good as fries. Mm, maybe not as good as nachos. Probably better than a Swedish pancake. I guess I'll put tortilla chips in as well. You know what? They might actually be better because, like I said, you know, we're trying not to factor like outside factors, but I have to imagine if you have tortilla chips, you have salsa with it too. I think since this is already just kind of potato chips, this should be factoring in that you have, or factoring in that you have salsa with it as well. And in fact, if it is chips and salsa, it probably should be here at least. Very, very good. Rarely is it ever bad. Very satisfying. Very similar to a, a pumpkin pie, I would say. It's, you know, you go to any Mexican restaurant, you'll get it usually for free. Some of them try to charge you for it, which is fucking bullshit. But uh, generally you get it for free, just kind of complimentary with your meal. And it's amazing. You just keep having it come. You know, get, keep the salsa getting refilled. It's usually some nice homemade salsa. Even if it's a fucking canned salsa, it's not the end of the world. It's still pretty good. I like it. And potato, what can you say about potato chips? They're good. They're not great. They're not healthy. They're good. Uh, Where were we? Okay, what the fuck is this? Like, you give me specific fruits and then you just have like every fruit in a bowl like a fruit salad i'm not rating that dude and even this it's like what is this like a noodle salad a pasta salad i really can't tell it looks like a pasta salad i'm not rating that it doesn't deserve a rating i feel like that's th these both are kind of bullshit pear though now pear you know is is everything an apple wishes it was i feel um Pears are fucking good. They taste so good. They feel so good to eat. Um, especially if it's a good, you know, we're assuming it's a good pear, not like a rock hard thing that crunches as you eat it. I'm talking one that you sink your teeth into and it's juicy. That shit is possibly A tier. It, it is probably better than. It might be one of the best goddamn fruits that you can eat. Probably not as good as cheese, though. I mean, it, it doesn't have the ceiling that cheese has, but, man, I, I tell you, a good pear from the garden, whew, that shit will do it for you. Burrito? They better have tacos on here. Okay, I see tacos. Um, 
I think burritos are vastly inferior to tacos, but they're still good. They're always too big. You can never eat them. You can eat them all, but you don't feel good about it. They're always overserved. It's definitely better than nachos. Better than salmon. It's pretty good. I think it's around an omelet. They're similar. Omelets aren't typically as overserved as burritos, but they certainly can be. It's similar to like a hamburger. I feel like it's like the Mexican variant of a hamburger. Just a solid thing that isn't necessarily too hard to make that will always be decent, but never really blow your mind. I've never had a burrito that blew my mind. I think it's around hamburger. I'd probably slightly prefer a hamburger. Hot dog, what the fuck? I mean, hot dogs are okay. Probably better than pie, but not necessarily better than chicken. Like roast chicken or whatever. Um, they're really just kind of meh. Yeah, you can put a bunch of mustard and relish on and it'll taste good, but I can, I can put mustard and relish on anything and it will taste good. I can put it on an apple. Ketchup is just fucked. Like, what are you doing putting ketchup onto a, a, a hot dog? That doesn't even make sense. I know people do it, but I don't know. It, it seems It seems pretty iffy to me. Is this just supposed to signify sandwiches in general? Because now I got, yeah, I got sandwiches, uh, just a sandwich here and then a sub sandwich. I'll tell you what, I, I don't give a fuck about normal sandwiches enough to rate them, but I will rate a sub sandwich. I think they're good. They're not as good as burrito, but, and they're not as good as an omelet. They're similar though, right? You just throw a bunch of shit together and you eat it. And it, it can't be bad. It can't. The ceiling isn't quite there, though. I mean, I've had some pretty highly rated subs, and I'm like, I don't really think it's that great. Uh, is it better than pumpkin pie? Maybe not. Is it better than chips and salsa? No. Chinese takeout? Probably not. Probably better than salmon, though, right? Any old, we're talking a decent, a decent sub sandwich, not just some stale styrofoam thing from Subway. I'll admit, I don't even mind Subway. Subway would probably be C tier as well, just at the bottom of it. We'll say a decent sub is between salmon and Chinese takeout. Fried egg, not as good as an omelet, but definitely better than a, a hard boiled egg. Better than a hot dog? I think so. Even without salt, you can, if you go like, if you don't do, you know, overcook the top too much, like, I, I guess this looks like sunny side up to me. You can let that yolk run over everything and it will flavor it pretty well and it tastes pretty good. It's actually really good. Um, at least as good as an apple. Probably better than a dumpling. It's maybe better than a bread, but again, bread, I think, reserves the top of D tier for like feeding nations of people over millennia. Hard to deny the, the value there. Yeah, here we go. Tacos. Now, this food is always rated high, and it deserves to be. It is so fucking good. It's probably the best food that's ever been created, honestly. Um, a bad taco is a good taco and a good taco is a great taco and a great taco is fucking transcendent this shit is so good and, and it doesn't really matter if you have a shitty one like I said it's still good but a good one is just yeah I pers I mean it's hard to beat you know going to some of the major cities in Mexico and getting a taco Hard to beat that. I might ruffle a few feathers. I also think LA is a really good place to find tacos. Like the, uh, I don't really, 
I think like food trucks in general are way fucking overrated, but I will say that the the taco trucks in LA are so fucking good. I mean, if I lived there, I want to actually move there. I would eat I would eat myself to death on them, honestly. I can't imagine they're that healthy cuz they're pretty there's some pretty gigantic like uh not gigantic but just pretty loaded ones that you can get they're damn amazing and cheap too definitely the highest value per dollar spent here and it's not close like tacos just aren't expensive and if they are expensive you probably shouldn't buy them i think that's actually pretty good advice you really like good tacos are not the ones you have to spend a lot of money for those are the people that are fucking taking you for what you're worth. Like they're, they're scamming you. Like a taco shouldn't cost more than a a, do- a few dollar, a couple to a few dollars. A single taco should not. If you are if you're buying a taco and they're charging you like five dollars or more, they're fucking you. But yeah, tacos are fucking amazing. You can make them yourself too. Pizza, ugh, way overrated way overrated um i don't get why people are so crazy about pizza it gives you fuck loads of heartburn it's really not that flavorful um i don't know it's just like a it's similar to pancakes for me it's just bland i like pepperoni um, but both pepperoni and pizza down here just end up low on the list for their own reasons. Like I would love a pepperoni and some other thing that they don't pitch the other type of things they don't have pictured here. But as it stands, my only choices for pepperoni are pepperoni pizza and, uh, you know, a tray past fucking $50 thing of things that probably cost $5 for them to get from a vendor. So they don't really make the cut here in these pictures. Like. I don't know. Pizza is... Everybody always, always defaults to pizza. And I hate that that's the default. It really isn't that good. It doesn't feel good to eat. Um, It's horrible for you. It's not that good. And I've had quote-unquote good pizza. It's not that good. But it's still better than cake. It's better than a hard-boiled egg for sure. Maybe it's D tier. It's, I don't know. I'd much rather have a hot dog if I'm going to go this route, right? Like hot dog and pizza are the same route. You know, you're just putting shit into your body. I'd rather have a hot dog. I'm going to leave it in E tier, ruffle some feathers. I don't know what that is, so I don't care about it. I also don't know what that is. Sushi, another overrated food good in japan i've had it in japan it's good even then though i'm like i obviously haven't had the super high-end stuff that you have to like wait several years out to be on a waiting list for but you know i i don't know i i I think it's a bullshit lie that people say that there's more flavor in raw fish than there is in cooked fish i call 100 percent bullshit on that my main problem with sushi is the lack of flavor. I like it. Technically, it's somewhat healthy depending on what you get. Probably compared to everything else, it's definitely healthy. Um, but I don't know. I I feel like it's very overrated. Uh, it's expensive for what you get, for sure. Um, I, I think that it's not as flavorful as people t- say it, make it out to be. Even in Japan, even when I was in Japan. It's, I guess, similar to salmon for me. It's like, it's solid. It's relatively healthy. It's probably better than a sub sandwich. Better than Chinese takeout. That's where we might draw the line. And obviously there's a, ton of different sushi you could get you know there's your americanized rolls or you could get some sashimi uh or uh 
whatever you, I forget what, uh, I don't know why it's escaping me, but basically what's pictured here, the rice and the sashimi on top, whatever that's called. You know, and you can get all the different types of fish and whatnot, but uh, in general, just if I'm going to blanket rate sushi, I don't think it's, I, I especially, by the way, I really think salmon sushi sucks. I don't know why people go crazy for salmon sushi. That shit fucking sucks. If we're talking about salmon sushi, I would actually put it in F tier. But like fatty tuna sushi is pretty good. The re, you know the red one there you see uh, is pretty good. That's tuna. Um, overall, I'm gonna give it a C tier, kind of middle of the road. All things considered. And this looks like some sort of. What is this? Are we going to just like say... Now I, I need to start making shit up now because there's just things that have been missed that seem like travesties. So let's go with... This represents um, Hot Pot. Hot Pot is really good. Uh... I'm going to say it's not quite as good as fried chicken. Maybe not as good as ice cream cake, but definitely better than avocado. Hot pot can really be amazing. You know, just get a big bowl of soup in the middle, pour all that, you know, put all the stuff in that everybody wants. Hot pot's ambiguous too, right? There's a million fucking things that could go into it. But in general, you know, the flavor of the broth and whatnot, usually like a Szechuan fa flavor, I think Hot Pot's really good. And uh, even though I, I think I know what this is, this is like the mozzarella and tomato stuff. I don't know why it gets its own fucking thing. We're just going to overtake it and we're going to say in a similar vein that this is Korean barbecue, which I think is even better than Hot Pot. I think it's S tier. Maybe not as good as cheesecake. You know what? It is. No, no. It's 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 right behind cheesecake. Uh, similar to hot pot, you know, you just throw your shit in the middle. Everybody does, and let, let it cook in front of your eyes, or in front of your eyes, and it will be very fucking good. You'll come home smelling extravagant. And the last one, which really grinds my gears that it's not pictured here is like southern slash american barbecue which is the number one we're just gonna say that that's southern american barbecue like barbecue ribs barbecue brisket stuff like that what are you doing not including that in this ranking i mean props for what you've done here that's a lot of good selection to choose from but how did you leave that out? That's just wrong. But it's in there now. We, we've made our amendment here. That's the best food, I think. I typically think American food sucks compared to, like, cuisines of other cultures. But the exception is fucking barbecue. It's so fucking good. It's not healthy at all. But you don't care. You don't care because it tastes that fucking good. I can't tell you how good brisket in particular and ribs are. Like, go to the south. You don't even have to go to the south. Just go anywhere that's a highly rated barbecue place and get a brisket. If they give the option for getting a fattier piece, get that. Don't be afraid of eating that fat. That shit will literally it will get you high it's that good you'll be high i've been high from eating fucking barbecue before literally and that's it uh the very important thing i needed to get off my chest uh is a ranking of foods did we forget anything important I love that there's the random like assortment of, of uh, fruits they did. Because let's be honest, why isn't mango on this list? Mango would definitely be A tier. Maybe even S. I mean, mango is a fruit. That's a fucking fruit right there. 
What else did we miss? Like a lot of vegetables. Corn? Where the fuck is corn on the cob? Corn on the cob is S tier. Actually, better than American barbecue is corn on the cob. Another food, you know, coming out of America that's actually pretty good. Unlike most of the shit. A lot of bad food in America, but corn on the cob and American barbecue. That, that. Yeah, right there. Chef's kiss. That was a chef's kiss I just did. You can't see. Maybe you could hear it. But okay. This was uh, another high value uh, guide put out from me. I hope it was useful. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.